Hey everyone, Karen here, Karen Wolf here. I can't even talk. Here at the art studio, I am going to um, paint with you again this evening. I'm going to come on here and what am I putting that over there for? I need my water. I'm about to die of thirst. Oh gosh. I'm going to paint the baney. Good grief. I give up. Take two. <laughs> hey guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. Uh, I am a painter, and I teach you how to paint and become a better painter in an easy-to-follow step-by-step process so that you can become more confident and proud of your art. So, there you go. All right. Oh, goodness. So, hello, hello. How are you all doing? We got Louise watching. We got Tammy watching. Hello, hello, folks. We'll get over here on my um, page. Pull you all up. See if I can find you. I'm not on there yet. Can't find it. As always, try to, I've got to pull you up on my iPad so I can see you on here. No, it's not working. So, how's it go? Y'all having a good day? I hope so. I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> a little bit of a whirlwind, but hey, that's me. That's usually me. Hey, Amy. Thanks for jumping on. Sorry I'm not ready, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Why will this not come up? Okay. Arbor Karen Wolf. Post. Am I live? There I am. Okay, finally. All right. Well, turn me down so you can't hear me. Okay. So, we're going to go on here this evening. And find some paint. And we're going to paint this. Um, <clears throat> we're going to paint this bunny that I painted the other night. We're going to add something to it. So what will we add? I'm thinking some flowers for sure. Y'all excited about it? I'm pretty excited about it. You can see Heather. <laughs> okay, what are y'all talking about? Amy's saying, I can see Heather. What are y'all doing? Talking code? Okay. All right. Let's see if I can see you. Oh, my iPad's just slow and sluggish. Okay, am I sluggish on here this evening? Because my iPad is, and it should not be. I had four bars when I started. I've been having some technical difficulties. Y'all let me see if you can... I can't talk, Okay. So, you all tell me if you can see the video or if it's, like, sluggish. Is my video sluggish? Yeah, there it says it's interrupted. That's so annoying. I'll be right back. Yes, it went back to one bar. Why does it do that? I'm going to have to... We go over here and give it a jolt. I had four four bars when I started this nonsense. So annoying. Technology is great when it works, but I'm telling you the truth. When it doesn't, we're all going to be in trouble. If something ever happens and we lose our, yeah, a little sluggish. I know. I saw that. I was down to one bar. Um, which is annoying. I restarted uh, it, so hopefully it'll go back up and stay there. So, frustrating as heck. Okay, but that's okay. <laughs> There's a lot worse things going on in the world right now than me having bad internet. So, um, and not being able to find my paintbrushes. Okay. All right, you guys, we're going to paint something in this bunny. Hopefully, my internet holds out, and it's not too slow, and you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I painted this the other night, and there's a big black line right there. Getting rid of that. Okay, there we go. Um, I painted this the other night, and it's, it's just super cute, just super cute, but at the same time, it needs something. Okay, it needs something. So, I'm thinking, I lost my brush again. 
that it needs some sort of flowers or something. So I'm gonna go on here and I'm gonna do some flowers. I'm trying to think of what kind of flowers I wanna do. I'm just thinking like some little different colored flowers down here, not anything, I don't know. Should the flowers come up high? I was gonna keep the flowers down low. Jennifer said a bow here, which I think would be super cute. I had my chalk. I'm just all out of sorts. Okay, so I'm thinking a bow would be cute. <coughs> and let's look for my chalk. Um, a bow would be cute in our, uh, maybe right here or something, a little bow, a little something. Right there, a little bow would be cute. Don't know. What do you think? A little bow on her head right there or right there. Um, flowers, we could do some, some uh, flowers down here coming up. I don't think I want them to be real tall or anything. That's what I got so far. Okay. So, <coughs> and in the amount of time that I have, I'm thinking that's probably doable. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of white right here where I'm going to do her little bow so that I can get good coverage and I don't have to worry about uh, background color coming through. And I'm probably going to do the same thing with some flowers. I want some flowers right down here. Hey, Kathy. Welcome, you guys. Appreciate y'all jumping on. Sorry for the delay. I'm um, hoping the internet will hold out and it won't be sluggish. Um, let's see what, what's going on. We have Pammy, Heather, Amy. Uh, you guys, I don't, like I said, I don't want you guys. Christina. <laughs> Amy says a little sluggish and Crystal and Julie and Kathy. So, um, <coughs> I'm still having this stupid coughingness. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully one of these days it'll go away. And if it doesn't, we'll just have to deal with that too. I'm looking for some orange paint. Um, the reason I come in here all flustered is I just go from one thing to the next to the next. And I apologize for that. But it's real life. <laughs> it's just real daggone real life. So, you know, I, I went to work, got home, had to go down to my daughter's and help her with the kids because she had a workout class. And then I come up here uh, real quick so I can get on here and paint this as promised. I'm going in here putting some, just some centers, just marking my centers here, just trying to figure out where I want these flowers to be. I think I like that placement. She's real cute with the bow in her hair. And I want you guys to tell me, oh, thank you, Heather. I want you guys to tell me what color do you want the bow in her hair? That, that's one thing I want to know right now. If you guys will work on that, we'll figure out, uh, let's say, we'll give you two colors. Maybe we'll say uh, purple, uh, light purple would be cute. Um, or a bright pink, purple or pink. Does that sound like good? So we'll try that. So we're going in here with some centers. I'm just putting in... Uh, I put in an orange with some sienna, and then uh, that was my dark side. Some orange with some sienna on the dark side for my centers here. Oh, Kathy says a yellow bow. We got a light purple and a yellow so far. And the, and the beauty of it is, is, is when you all paint this, you can paint it whatever color you want. Isn't that the great thing about being an artist? You can paint it whatever color you want. And if you don't like it and it looks ugly, you can just change it and paint it a different color. <laughs> 
So then I'm going to go into some yellow, and I'm going to brighten up the other side of my center a little bit. Pop that out a little bit. Okay, so there's my center. Hey, Nancy, thanks for joining. I hope you'll be able to paint in the group. You and Kathy, Tammy, all of you guys. I hope you guys will be able to paint in the, or join in on the workshop this evening. We've got a workshop going on, the spring birdhouse there. We're painting it this evening. I'll finish up here, and then I'll do the workshop for the, the gals over there. Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm going to do some uh, flowers. So we're going to do some flowers. So I think I'm um, going to do, how about, do a light, what color flowers do we want? You want to do a purple flower? You want to do red? I was going to do purple flower, but now I'm leaning towards red. We've got light purple, yellow for the bow, yellow or purple. Okay. How about we could do... yellow or purple with lavender highlights um we could do a, a purple bow with some yellow on it we'll do that we'll do just this light purple And y'all be thinking about what color flowers we want. What color flowers do we want? So I'm just painted it in purple. Now I'm just going in with a little bit of dark just to give my bow a little bit of definition here, a little bit. And then I'll probably go in and paint, uh, may, and if I get coverage, I might have to just let this be a little bit. It's not liking me. It's not liking me. Uh, for my flowers, I'm leaning towards um, reds, pinks, reds. How about red? We could do some red. Do you want them all red and pink? And we'll dry this while you guys are thinking about it. Have you guys, are y'all stalled out on me? <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, go up here and do a little bit of a highlight up here on top. There. And we'll do... We could do like some yellow, little yellow. We'll see how this looks. Do some yellow dots on it. So that way we got, some people got their yellow and some people got their white. Okay. How about that? Pretty cute, huh? And I just went in with some yellow. Now I'm going in with some white. Just touching on there, here, and there. Okay, so we've got the bow. 
Video is good. No lag. Good. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate the feedback on my video. Seems to be doing better on my iPad. I'm not sure what the deal is on the daggone thing. So, I'm going to do red on the flowers. I'm thinking red. I think it needs some bright red. So, I'm going to do red. And you, like I said, the beauty of this is, is you can do this stuff whatever color you want. So, um, yeah. No, no problem there. All right. Another thing I want to let you all know, the, um, the All Access membership is opening. It, the doors open to the All Access membership on March 14th. That is next Monday. So, I hope you guys are um are excited about that as i am and that you're thinking about that and that if you're not on the wait list you'll jump on over there because the wait list is where you will be notified uh when the doors open you'll be the first to know and um You'll be glad you did jump on the wait list because you get a free uh, free download tutorial when you jump on there. So that's always exciting. So get over there and do that. Get your free tutorial. <coughs> the, um, I said the doors open March 14th. That's on Monday. So jump on the wait list, guys. That's a fun, fun thing. Everybody likes free stuff. It's painting. You get a paint from home. You get a paint from the convenience of home, just like here. You get me painting with you. Fun times. You get to learn to paint and become a better painter. All right, so we've got our, our red little flowers in there, so I'm going to go into white just in that red. I'm just, I'm painting with a, a wore out number, um, I think number four round. And then I just painted it in red, so now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of white into that dirty brush. And I'm just highlighting in. Over on that side, just getting some bright in there. Picking up some white on that side. But if you think you get the goods in here on Facebook when you're painting with me, guys, when you're in the All Access membership, it's the um, it's the whole whole deal, the smorgasbord. It's like a big old buffet. But you just go in and you just take it at your, you just grab what you want when you need it. <laughs> oh. It's a lot of fun. It really is. All right. I'm just putting, just going back in and just putting some darks where I've, I've lost my dark. So I'm just going in and get some more of those back in there. Just getting more coverage. So there's the reds. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of white and yellow and highlight my um, my little center just a little bit more. A little centers. Can hear you, sir. <laughs> mm. My husband in the garage. I was just warning him that I could hear him. You know, you never know what they're going to say, right? <laughs> hmm. He's being ornery. All right. 
Okay, so there's that. So we've got some flowers that you can see. Now we need to put some stems on those flowers. And I'm going to take a liner, a little script liner. I'm going to go in. Is it looking okay so far? You all liking it so far? The little bow is as cute as can be. The flowers are good so far, I think. I'm going to go in and do some green. Take that uh, green color. I'm getting a little, little bit wet with my... I'm using my script liner, getting that a little bit wet, and I'm going to add a little tiny bit of purple to darken that a little bit. <coughs> oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you, Heather. Amy says, love it, and Heather says, yes, too cute. Cool beans. I'm glad. Glad, glad, glad that you all like it. Okay, so then I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to take make a little bit of stem, a little stem here. Just roll in that brush, roll it, roll it, get it wet so that it's uh, a little bit of an ink, ink consistency so that uh, it's easier to get it on that way. Just make you some leaves, little leaves, little indications of some leaves on your stem. And don't do like I just did and make them right beside of each other. That Offset them a little bit. Don't put them right beside of each other. That drives me totally insane. And I just did. Well, it's good that I did that, though, because then I could show you what not to do. Because it just looks like I just don't like it. I mean, some leaves are like that, I suppose, on some sort of plants, but... I don't know. Just shouldn't make things matchy-matchy. Okay? Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow and green. And just kind of put some, put some brights in there. And put some brights down in here if you want. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Okay. All right. So there we added, it was a plain little Easter, or not Easter, well, it could be for Easter, could, a plain little rabbit, bunny rabbit, peeking out of the clay pot. That's what we had. Then I said, it needed something, but I, I didn't have time the other evening to, to go further. And I uh, asked you all what you thought. And of course, I knew it needed some flowers and it needed that, this, that, and the other. But there was a suggestion of a bow, which is cute as can be. And there was suggestion for flowers. There was suggestion for Easter eggs. I'm just going in with some white. Uh, since this has dried a little bit, I'm just going in and just highlighting some of these a little bit so that they'll pop. Taking that white down into a little bit of the pink. Just so it's not just dark white, which I can't get that to show up. I need it to be white, I guess. And just highlighting those a little, little there. Um... So that brightened it up. It, it put some more color in it, which it definitely needed. And then where I have my chalk up there that's distorting me. Distorting the look of the bow. We're going to clean that off and that'll fix that up. So the soft fine charcoal, charcoal is really good for uh, going in and drawing in your whatever you want to draw in. Uh, and then whenever you're done with it, you just wipe it with a little bit of a wet paper towel. And there's a little bit down in here too, and I'm afraid to wipe that because I think it's still a little bit wet. Okay, so there we go. All right. So, um, yeah, there's, that's good. How about that? So y'all ready to paint? Y'all ready to paint the Easter bunny and uh, or the little bunny? Not necessarily Easter bunny. It's a bunny. <laughs> Could be for Easter. 
uh, inside of the little clay pot. So cool there. Yeah. Fun. See, I just did the little, little flowers down there at the bottom. Did the little bow on her head. And that's just as cute as can be. <laughs> Fun times. All right. Thank you all so much for joining on this evening. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Appreciate that. Um, you guys are great. And I appreciate y'all jumping on here with me and, and painting with me. This evening, I'm all, I'm in, uh, like I said, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Um, oh, I just hit the mean face. I just gave myself a mean face. Oh, gee. <laughs> I was trying to put my laptop on the thing and I hit the mean face. <clears throat> oh, well. I'm not sure if that gives you a bad, bad rating or not, but oh well. Thank you all for the hearts and things. I'll put, I'll give myself a heart to offset the bad face. <laughs> it, that little mean, little, it's like he's going Rrr, down there at the very bottom. My thumb hit that just as soon as I popped that iPad on there. That's funny. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not thinking it's a bad thing. I think this is a good thing. I think this is the cutest little bunny. Uh, in a clay pot that you'll see today. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. Don't you all forget the All Access membership is opening next week. The doors open on March 14th. I've talked and talked and talked and talked about it. You guys have heard me over and over again. I've been talking about this for months that it's going to be opening. And it finally is. And I'm so excited I can't understand myself. Um... The All Access membership only opens twice a year, and it's opening on March 14th. It will be open for five days, and then the doors will close again, and it won't be open again until September. So, if you are interested, the slightest bit interested in painting with me inside of the All Access membership, get on the wait list. For one thing, you get a free gift. You get a free download of a painting tutorial comes with a supply list and uh, a template and a video to watch me step by step, um, which will give you an idea of the videos that are available um, inside of the All Access membership. There's over, over 70 now, um, plus the extra videos that are on the website. So we're getting really close to 100, which is just, and there may be. If you count the videos that are inside of the All Access membership, plus the instructional videos, plus the ones that are on the, um, on the, uh, in the library, it's getting near 100. So, um, there's a lot there for you to paint, and that'll give you an example. But being in the All Access membership isn't all about the almost 100 painting tutorials that are available to you. It's about you getting past that whatever's holding you back and keeping you from doing something that you are interested, you think you would be interested in doing, or getting past that, um, you know, maybe, you ha maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't think you can do it. Um, it's getting you past that, getting you to the point where you try it, you get in there, and, and you um, learn to paint, and you become a better painter. Um, because I can show you how. I've got over 20 years experience in painting, and I can teach painting. I've been teaching painting since 2013, so I can definitely teach uh, teach painting. And there's a lot of materials in, you, in there for you to learn, implement, and practice, practice, practice. So you can do it. But it's up to you. You've got to do it. You've got to get in there and do the, do the work. Um, you just can't sit back. You have to participate, but it's fun. So you'll want to participate. So once you get past that fear and try this, try, try something, you know, just if you're interested in it, just pick up a couple brushes and some paint and try this. This was an easy one. Um, do something that, you know, just see if it's something that you're interested in. Get inside of the group and you'll learn to paint, become a better painter and you'll love it. Uh, it's therapy, it's fun, it's, um, gosh, it's, it's rewarding, 
um, you'll be proud. You'll feel confident and proud of yourself. Once you, once you start learning and you build that confidence, you will become um, a better painter because the more confident you are, the more you'll do. And the more you do, the more practice you get and the better painter you'll be. It's just kind of like a snowball effect. So it's, it's, um, a great opportunity and I just want everybody to do it. But, um, it is more than just, um, all of, all of the videos that are available. It's more than that. It's a community of artists in the private Facebook group and and everyone gets to know each other and and you post your work and you you know you're proud of it and you post it and other people can see it or you you know you learn from the videos that I post in there we paint together in groups you have opportunities to win um uh in the challenges I give gift certificates and things like that so it's a fun time but anyways I've talked and talked about it and uh, I'm talking about it again and I just can't help myself but I'm just so excited about it because I want everybody to paint with me <coughs> I can't help it <laughs> all right um, but let's see there are others that are in the group um, that are um, doing just what I told you um, they're going in there and they're learning and they're going through the success path and they're learning and Im implementing and um, they're living it. They are taking what, uh, I'm teaching them. They're becoming more confident, painting, you know, grabbing things and painting on their own and, and taking a painting that I teach and tweaking it and turning it into, um, their, their work of art. Um, like Violet says, you know, she's, she's wanting to not just paint what I paint, how I paint, She's taking what I'm teaching her and painting what she wants to paint and, um, you know, learning the techniques and things and creating her own paintings. So that's just like so awesome. And Tammy is in there and saying that um, she's glad that I, I'm teaching her how to paint and different, you know, techniques and things. I mean, she she knew how to paint when she got in there, um, but she's learning more and putting her own twist on it. So like her style, her technique. And that's what you do. You paint for a while and then you uh, develop your own style and then eventually it's yours. Because you can look at my art now and you can probably say, oh, I bet Karen Wolf painted that because that's my style, my painting style. Or you can look at this birdhouse and you can say, oh, I bet Karen painted that. Or the truck back there. Or the door back there. All of these paintings, you can look at them and you can say, oh, Karen, I bet Karen Wolf painted that. Because it's my painting style. Like a Thomas Kincaid or a, um, who can I think? Norman Rockwell or a, um, who else is there? Um, or even some of um, Bob Ross's paintings or... Um, Van Gogh or any of them, Monet, you look at them and they have a painting style. So that's what you'll do. You'll, you'll build a signature, um, style. So I can't ramble on cause I've got a seven o'clock I need to do here. <laughs> Cutting it close, aren't I? Um, so that's, um, that's what I wanted to get on here, uh, and do was paint this with you and let you know that the all access membership is coming. It's going to be opening March 14th and get on the wait list guys. The links in the comments, grab it, get your free gift, try it, see if it's something that you like. When the doors open, I will notify you. You will receive an email from me, uh, to let you know. And I hope you'll jump on board cause I'd love to have you. So. Love, 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 love to paint with you guys. I paint on here, and you all see me paint on here, but man, what I give you inside of the All Access membership is uh, a smorgasbord um, compared to this little uh, cheeseburger. So, all right. Thank you all so much. Appreciate you. God bless you. Take care. Y'all have a great evening. And I, let me see if there's any questions on here before I go. Um, I can't see. Um See you in a few minutes, Heather says. Uh, for the birdhouse painting, going to have to paint the bunny, Heather says. And what is the membership fee? Nancy says, the membership fee is $47 a month. And you have access to all the videos inside of the library. You have access to me. You have access to a free Facebook or a, pub, a private Facebook group um, where um, I will do... Uh, additional tutorials and post the announcements, uh, a calendar of events for the month, 
the opportunity for the challenge when that'll be and what it, what the challenge is um, is inside of the group. But all of the videos are on a, a website and you just go into your login and you um, access your videos inside of the website. Now, there are some lives that I do on the fa private Facebook group and there's a lot of stuff in there. So, um, and you go through the sex so success path, that's hard to say with a retainer in my mouth. You go through there, you find where you are in the success path, beginner, intermediate, advanced. You just pick up where you, you need to be. You follow through the instructional tutorials. There's um, lots of uh, different things that you learn in there. I'm building those as I go. And um, you just learn and implement and practice, practice, practice. So there's lots. Lots and lots and lots of stuff for you to do there. So, Nancy, I'm glad you're interested. If you have more questions, you just let me know. I've got to run. I've got to get off here. Y'all can post them in the comments. I'm getting ready to do another live inside of a private Facebook group uh, for the spring uh, birdhouse, the bird, the workshop. So, um we're doing that second night tonight. So, um, thank you all for joining. I appreciate each and every one of you. Sorry, I got to go. Um, but like I said, if you have questions, post them in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. And Nancy, I hope I see you over in the birdhouse, uh, group. So see you in a few. Thank you all so much. God bless you. Take care and have a great evening. And, uh, I'll see you back on here again and paint this daggone bunny. Isn't it cute? It's cute. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.